So hello everyone, uh, welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for coming in and welcome to the new uh, folks who uh, came into this channel uh, for the first time. Um, so today I'd like to share with you um, a pair of um, somewhat inexpensive uh, pair of loafer. And I'm gonna attempt to uh, compare it to the um, an, an Ellen Edmond loafers. Um, they're almost the same, but I'll share with you the construction um, the different construction on a, a more expensive loafer versus a less expensive loafer. And I'll share with you uh, the prices on these things uh, on, on, on both pairs and, uh, and see um, uh, what you think about what, what your thoughts um, uh, about these loafers. Now, I am very impressed with these. These are the less expensive ones. These are the Mr. B loafers. And Mr. B has just started making shoe they only make men's shoes um I just started making shoes back in 2011 where the allen edmonds uh they've been making shoes since 1922 so 2011 1992 kind of a big span uh there in shoe construction um but mr b's make shoes for uh, aldos um a very solid shoe a beautiful well constructed um shoe so what do i look for in a pair of shoe Right, or pair of loafers or whatever. Right, so I'll give you an example here. So in an Allen Edmonds, um, they use the best calfskin, and this is leather, right? And in Allen Edmonds, the insole are lined with a soft leather, where the Mr. B's, this particular model, uh, is not lined at all, right? And the uh, the footbed is all, it's leather, um, it is not cushioned where the Allen Edmonds shoe uh, is cushioned by a cork um, bedding, so your feet will form to uh, to um, to the shoe, and it gives you a little uh, a better ride. All right, the stitching um, they go through roughly 200, uh, 200 steps to put together the stitching in an Allen Edmonds. Um, it is good gear welted. 360 degrees um, and the thing about this is uh, the Allen Edmond is it does have a double sole double oak sole on it before they put it on the before they sew it to the wilt where the Mr. B though it's a beautiful shoe and as you can see this section here is hand sewn but this is uh, machine sewn and if you look there it's also a 360 degree welted shoe Goodyear welted shoe um, pretty solid, uh, pretty solid, uh, also, um, and the stitching seemed to be a little bit better than the Allen Edmonds. I'm not sure about the threads, but the stitching seemed to be a little closer where the Allen Edmonds is a little wider. The more expensive shoes, like the, the ones made over in England by Edward Greens, their stitching is really tight and it's beautiful. So as you can see here, well, you probably can't see it on this shoe here. But to demonstrate with the with the um, with the lighter thread it is an extremely close stitch compared to the Allen Edmonds. So this is a better stitch than the Allen Edmonds. So it does you do see some different qualities, um, even though they're not identical. Uh, they are loafers, but you know as you can see here, these are split toe, and it, this is actually a real split versus a mock split. Um, so with that being said, you know these. Retails for $160, uh, but outlet stores prices, you can get them for around $60 or even $50 for a pair of nice Mr. B leather shoes. And it's actually a beautiful looking pair of, uh, of shoe. Uh, pretty solid. You can, you can hear um, the leather, the hard leather. So it's, it's a pretty solid shoe. Uh, it's not as quite as comfortable because both of these are size 11 and but it's not quite as comfortable as the Allen Edmonds um, So I'll leave that up to you the Allen Edmond retail for around 250 260 dollars um, And you can get them on sale for around a hundred and 160 bucks 160 dollars on sale 140 dollars on sale, maybe and versus uh, around 50 dollars so uh, I hope you uh, Got something from this video. Um, 
I was really impressed with these shoes. Like I said, it's not quite as comfortable um, around the ankle area as the uh, as the uh, Allen Edmonds. You know, but like I said, these guys have been making shoes since uh, 1922, so they have something going on for them. Uh, pretty impressive with these pair also. So with that, um, you guys have a wonderful day. I'm out of here.